You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Forgates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich at the Jacklich Law Group. Good evening Thank from you, College Thank Park, you. Maryland, 75, uh, Puppet State, 53. It, it was not even as close as the score indicated most of the night. I'm Wayne Viner at that space, and this is Bruce up front. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. Bruce, what did you see tonight? Well, I walked in the arena, and the first thing I heard was Jameer wasn't playing. And, uh, you know, I had my worries a little bit. And 75-53, Willard caught off the dogs. Everybody played well. I thought uh, Long played well for getting an opportunity. And uh, across the board, uh, Juju came back. I think he might have 18 or 20 after that uh, performance last time. And look, they, they probably rested up uh, Jameer for the big game against Purdue. Because we've talked about it. I think you guys will agree. This is a statement opportunity for Maryland that they need to win. And that, that's a big statement to play the number one team. But they need to win that game. And they got a darn good shot, Mason. Yeah, Mason, you talked about how well Long played at the point, especially a play right over your right shoulder. We came down the break and drew the foul. Uh, he goes six of eight from the floor. He has four assists, three rebounds, a complete game as a point guard. What'd you see out there? Yeah, I think that, you know, he finally got his opportunity to really run the point. He did it well. Deshaun Harris Smith also with a really, really strong game. And look, Jahari Long around the rim, really, really smart plays, a lot of finishes, drew a lot of fouls on the inside. And Maryland overall did a really, really nice job of offensive rebounding in this game. And look, Coppin's not a good team. They're 1 and 13 now on the season. But look, this Maryland team, they've struggled to do things right, they've struggled to score the basketball. And that's what these games are good for. They are. Bruce, you mentioned you wish you had gone out to UCLA. You got UCLA, you have tonight, and then you have Purdue. What's this run of games mean, and why was that UCLA game so big to you? They had to win that game, and they did. And they played great. Jameer Young was the man. But you you lost to Davidson, and you lost to UAB, and you got pummeled by uh, Villanova. You had to put something up non-conference. And even though UCLA is 5-6 and six now, or maybe they're 6-6, six and six, they're going to wind up being an okay team. They, they hopefully they can they can get the quad one. Hopefully we can. I'll ask Mason because Mason, you study this more. What's it going to take? Is the win would a win against Purdue put Maryland back in the you know top fifty or maybe in bracketology, or is it going to take more than that? Yeah, it's going to take more than that. That would be Maryland's only quad one or quad two win thus far in the season. Um, you mentioned the week non-conference, the UCLA team not being a strong team, Villanova being the lone quad two that Maryland has played to this point. Obviously, we all know how that game went. Maryland's around 100 right now uh, in the net rankings, so much stronger in the Ken Palm, however. They need some road wins because ultimately every road Big Ten win, you have to figure will end up being quad two at the worst come uh, March, but they need UCLA to finish the season strong. And they, they're going to have to get it done and doing something they haven't done, which is winning uh, on the road in this league. This is a big dog. Post game show. Maryland takes over Coppin State, faces Purdue on Tuesday night. We'll be back after this word from Rick Jacklich and from Viner Fourgates. I'm Wayne Viner from Viner Fourgates. We make your company work. I'm Arthur Smith with Viner Fourgates. Two factor authentication is a must have in today's world. Security training for your company is a must. The crooks are getting smarter. We have to give you the edge to fight back. The biggest difference in a truck accident versus a car crash is the investigation that the lawyer has to do right from the beginning of the case. Number one is obtaining the logbooks of the driver to show that the driver was not rested properly according to federal law, uh, investigating through the black box and getting an expert to figure out from the black box of the truck, the speed of the truck or where the truck had been. So it's just different type of handling. Usually you have catastrophic injuries involved with tractor trailers as well. You have a massive, heavy vehicle that strikes a much smaller vehicle, you're going to have more massive injuries. So it's a different ball game. And if people are injured in a truck crash, they really, really need to find a lawyer that knows what he's doing with truck crashes. Back 
on the court at Xfinity Center. Basketball's big, but Maryland and Auburn go at it the Music City Bowl. Mason's been talking a lot to Ahmed or Gafir the Turtle about this game. Mason, what do you see down there against Auburn? Yeah, about, right about the time that uh, this show, you're watching it, the uh, Bowl Preview podcast is on its way for all of you that listen. Uh, it's going to be Peyton Thorne, a familiar face for Maryland, a guy who does not pass the ball much, uh, somewhere around 16 pass attempts per game from the Auburn Tigers. They're going to run the ball a lot. It's really going to be a test of the Terps' front seven, which should be arguably the strongest position group that Maryland will have next year. And everybody knows, and we'll talk about it now, the quarterback for Maryland, will it be the Billy Edwards show? Will we see Cam Edge? Mm-hmm. Will we see a taste of what we're going to see next year in College Park? I, I would hope so. As Bruce is going to point out, I've been a big Billy supporter uh, for a couple of years. Bruce, you got a point here? Yeah, here's my point. Uh, you have to remember Auburn had Alabama beat. It took a Hail Mary for Alabama and Dick Saban to get into that Final Four against Auburn. And they only lost to Georgia by seven. So, you, contrarily, Maryland was only down by three to Ohio State. And they had a chance to win, albeit a tough one, having to go 99 yards against Michigan. So, this game is really a myth. But Mason's pumped me up on the game because we do have Jay Sean Jones playing and Ty Felton playing and Prather playing and uh, Roman Hemby. So, the offense is there. And Billy just has to manage the game to keep Maryland in it. Auburn is not going to blow anybody out with Peyton Thorne. I think it will be a good game. I mean, uh, yeah. The, know, the difference being, when the two years, really, Auburn lost to New Mexico State the week before that Alabama game by 27, 28 points at home. Uh, Maryland doesn't have a loss like that this year. Obviously, both teams left some games on the field that they felt like they could win. And first year, a few threes uh, down in the plains and... SEC football, it's hard to win games. Hey, it's, an SEC win, Wayne, would be great. It would be. You know, these bowl games just don't mean as much as they used to. I've had trouble watching them, to be honest with you, but yep. I'm looking forward to this one. All right. And let's talk real quick. Michigan, Alabama, all Texas. Right. Let's all give our predictions. Wayne, you go first. I've got Alabama. I've got Washington. I think Alabama's going to be your national champion, Mason. Yeah, every time I pick these on this show, I get them wrong. Every year we do a post-game show, and this ends up happening. Uh, I'll take it, you know, just to mix it up a little bit. I'll take Texas, but I also have Alabama. Well, I'm going to tell you something. you got your best parlay in the world. Take Michigan and lay the two points. J.J. McCarthy is steady. He's very steady, and they got the best player, in my opinion, on the field in Blake Corum. I love Michigan. I love teams that are 12-0, and and Texas – there's no doubt in my mind Texas is going to win. Quentin Ewers has been unbelievable all year. If you watch them, it will be Texas and Michigan. And Jim Harbaugh will get his national championship. All right, and hopefully a prelude to John Harbaugh getting some kind of award. You know, maybe I won't talk about it. Okay, yeah. we don't want to jinx anybody, well, we'll but anybody. check back. Well, okay, but jinx and Jim Harbaugh. But, uh, we'll check back with uh, Bruce after the Dolphins and the Ravens play. But for tonight, that'll do it. Maryland takes it over Coppin State. Looking forward to a sellout crowd and a big game on Tuesday night. I'm Wayne. That's Mason. That's Bruce. Happy New Year if we don't talk to you before that January 2nd game. And that'll do it for tonight. Good evening from Xfinity Center.